Hello and welcome. My name is Chaplain Elisa and I will be leading our worship time today. Today is a special service. We are celebrating Good Friday, which is a time when we remember the cross of Christ. Good Friday is the most serious day in the Christian faith, but it is also a day of glory we intentionally enter into a holy space of sorrow, which makes the joy of Easter morning that much sweeter. You'll notice today that our table is bare, symbolizing the abandonment of Jesus by his disciples and the stripping of Jesus's clothes. But the cross remains covered by a scarlet veil to symbolize Jesus's blood shed for the sins of all people including us. So please pray with me as I begin our Good Friday Remembrance together. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, draw us into your love and mercy as we remember the suffering and death of your Son, Jesus Christ. Forgive us for so often ignoring or passing over the painful cost of your grace to us. We glorify and thank you that your purposes were accomplished through Christ dying for our sins once for all. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's begin with the doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. We'll sing this through twice together. Let's begin our worship. things flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, here below, praise him above ye heavenly host, praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. And now for our Good Friday Remembrance we begin the story from the scriptures of Jesus's betrayal, suffering, and death as recorded in the Gospels. When it was evening, Jesus reclined at table with the twelve. And as they were eating, Jesus said, Truly I say to you, one of you will betray me. And they were very sorrowful and began to say to Jesus one after another, Is it I, Lord? Jesus answered, He who has dipped his hand in the dish with me will betray me. After Judas betrayed Jesus and Jesus was seized, 
The chief priests and the whole council were seeking false testimony against him, that they might put him to death, but they found none. And finally, the high priest said to him, I command you by the living God, tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, you have said so, but I tell you from now on, you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his robes and said, what further witnesses do we need? You have now heard his blasphemy. What is your judgment? The council answered, he deserves death. Let's continue singing, my Jesus, I love thee. My Jesus, I love thee. Let's worship together. Here come the words on the screen. My Jesus, I love thee, I know thou art mine. For thee all the follies of sin I resign. My gracious Redeemer, my Savior art thou. If ever I love thee, my Jesus, tis now. I love thee because thou hast first loved me and purchased my pardon on Calvary's tree. And let's sing Just As I Am. Here come the words.
We continue the Good Friday story. Pilate, the governor, knew that it was out of envy that the religious rulers had delivered Jesus up. So when Pilate asked the crowd, what shall I do with Jesus who is called Christ? The crowd, stirred up by the council, said, let him be crucified. And Pilate said, why? What evil has he done? But the crowd shouted all the more, let him be crucified. So Pilate delivered Jesus to be crucified. The soldiers took Jesus and he went out bearing his own cross to the place called the place of a skull, which is called Golgotha. There they crucified Jesus and with him two others, one on either side. Pilate also wrote an inscription and put it on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. And when the sixth hour, which is noon, had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, which is 3 p.m. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the Roman soldier who stood facing Jesus saw that in this way Jesus breathed his last, the Roman soldier said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. Mm. Let's worship more with O Sacred Head Now Wounded. O Sacred Head Now Wounded. Let's worship together. Here come the words on the screen. Then we finish the story of Good Friday. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who also was a follower of Jesus. Joseph went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus, and Pilate ordered the body to be given to Joseph. Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had cut in the rock. And Joseph rolled a great stone against the entrance of the tomb and went away. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's sing Beneath the Cross of Jesus. Beneath the Cross of Jesus. Let's worship together. Beneath 
the cross of Jesus I fain would take my stand The shadow of a mighty rock within a weary land A home within the wilderness A rest upon the from the burning of the noontide heat and the burden of the day. Upon that cross of Jesus, mine eye at times can see the I want to pause us for just a few minutes to think a little bit more about Good Friday. As I said before, it's the most serious day of the Christian faith, but it's also a day of such glory. It's a little strange, isn't it, to call it Good Friday with that hard, hard story of Jesus's crucifixion and death. What could be good about this story? So, I want to start by thinking, how do you feel when you have completed something that you've been working on for a long time? Let's say you were undergoing a big house project or creating a piece of art or writing a difficult letter or even a book. How would you feel once you had finished that project? You can pause the video if you'd like to discuss how that would feel. Well, there's an amazing sense of accomplishment when a huge project or a huge plan has been brought to completion, right? There's a sense of joy, even though it was hard. It was hard work. Now, let's say you love someone deeply. Picture someone that you love really deeply, but picture that they live on the other side of a raging river and they have absolutely no way to build a bridge to get across the river and to be with you. So you build that bridge yourself. Even though, like any other big project, it's costly and it's painful and hard to build a bridge across a crazy rushing river. But when that bridge is done, Imagine how you would feel when your beloved is finally able to rush across that bridge and be with you. How would that feel? Incomparable, that bringing together of you and your beloved across a very difficult chasm that was there. That is the sense of Good Friday. The raging river is the sin of humankind, the wrongdoing of humankind. And the cross is the bridge between us and our holy God. We can't fix or swim the river and we can't build the bridge, but God can do both. God's glorious plan 
to be both the judge and the forgiver of human wrongdoing was completed by Jesus dying for us on Good Friday. And in Jesus' resurrection on Easter morning, Jesus proves his power over death itself and seals the promise of eternal life for those of us who follow Jesus in faith, those of us who cross that bridge over the river, cross on the bridge that God himself constructed. Good Friday is good. Indeed, it's a glorious day. When we see and receive the gift of forgiveness and life given by Jesus on the cross and guaranteed by his resurrection, Good Friday, even though it's hard and difficult, Good Friday is good indeed. Amen. Let's respond to that message of God's grace by singing Amazing Grace, Amazing Grace. This is exactly the image and the sense of Good Friday. Let's worship together. Here come the words up on the screen. Let's conclude our service today with a prayer of confession. Please join me in prayer. Heavenly God, you call us to be your voices in this world, and we stay silent. You call us to be your hands in this world, and we keep our hands hidden. You call us to be your feet in this world, and we go our own way. When we meet those who are doubting and we say nothing, forgive us. When we meet those who need your touch and we do nothing, forgive us. When we are called to take up your cross and we decide to carry nothing, forgive us. Breathe life into these bones, bring freedom to our lives that we might declare with heart and soul and voice 
that you are our Lord and our God. Amen. Amen. Let's conclude our service by singing, Were You There When They Crucified My Lord? This beautiful spiritual. Let's worship together. Here come the words on the screen. This concludes our worship time together for Good Friday until we meet again on Easter morning. Please receive the closing blessing and then we will sing the doxology one time to close. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise God.